PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds has released the beta for their newest map, the 4x4km island only known as Codename Savage. With the beta being available for a few hours now, we've decided to dive on in and take a look at what this acute atoll has to offer. One of the first things you may notice when loading in is that the current testing is solo only, so you and your squad are going to have to stick to Miramar or tough it out on your own. During my research, I didn't quite find anything confirming the map to be solo only or not, but due to the popularity of the squad modes and the 100 player maximum remaining intact despite the smaller scale of the map, it's safe to assume that they will be coming as testing continues. On top of that, there's some potentially sad news for the first person only fans. This mode is only available to the North American and European regions as of recording, the others being stuck with third person perspective only for this initial testing round. Savage is, as previously mentioned, only a 4x4km map, way smaller than Arangel and Miramar's 8x8km. This literal and metaphorical little brother is dwarfed by its two older siblings, with Reddit user Femath creating this very helpful image to understand how much smaller Savage really is. This smaller size encourages much faster gameplay and increases the likelihood of combat. I found this to be a nice change. Normally when I play solos, I find myself stealthing my way as high as I can, avoiding combat unless necessary. In Savage though, you can't escape it, and I find it to be very engaging. I'd find it even more engaging though if I was any good at PUBG. The map of Codename Savage consists of three main areas with smaller land masses dotting the interweaving river. Each of these main isles are connected via bridges, and each one has their own military boot camp, Alpha, Bravo and Charlie respectively. The landscape of Savage is very hilly. You'll find yourself battling inclines on a regular basis. The islands give off a very tropical feel, contrasting the military presence very well. You can be in this concrete compound fighting for your life, while only being a grenade throw away from some wooden straw huts. One of the key locations in Savage is located on the largest of the islands. Training Center is what I would call the military base or school of this new map. While multiple places can technically be described as military bases on this map, the central location, great loot, and high player jump rate makes this location hot property and a fun place to get some tense early game kills. One thing you'll notice when playing this map early on is that there is still a lot of untextured buildings around. Abandoned Resort, for example, is mostly untextured and looks kind of horrible right now. The team decided to release this map especially early so the community could be the driving force in its development. Many parts of the map are currently unfinished, some hilariously so. And while the sentiment of the community helping the devs out is a good one, overall, I feel like some of the more glaring parts, such as textures and landscaping, give off a bit of an unprofessional vibe, and that the team should have gotten a strong foundation for the map first, before letting people come and assist more. So when playing this map, I got a very Tropico Guerrilla Warfare vibe from it all. The small size and fast pace assist this even further, so one of my ideas came down to spawn rates of weapons. As it stands, there is a lot of ARs on this map. I think in most of the games where I haven't immediately died, I have found at least one M416 or AKM right off the bat. Perhaps an interesting way to make this map stand out even further would be to balance the spawn rates so that the rugged guerrilla style of weaponry is more likely to spawn. Things like having the AKM be the primary AR, followed by one of the 5.56 ARs like the SCAR, have the Molotov be the primary throwable, and the Machete be the primary melee, with a healthy amount of pan of course. Have the main SMG be the Uzi, and the main sniper be the Car 98 k or the SKS. Make the more advanced weaponry be less common, to really set this map apart. Those are just some of my ideas to make this map truly stand out. Do you agree with them? What are your thoughts on Savage? Let me know in the comments below, I'd love to have a chat with you about it. A link to a Reddit thread can be found in the description below, following that will take you to the feedback thread where you can also share your idea with the dev team themselves. Like what you see? Hit that thumbs up to scream it to the world, if not, the thumbs down is right there beside it. And let me know your criticism down below. I'm happy to hear it. For more videos from me, hit that subscribe button and head into my channel. I recommend my How Bad Can It Be series, where I look at some of Steam's worst. Like this video for instance where I look at a supposed PUBG ripoff. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye everyone.